Mark, he's looking at 1-0 victory at St Mary's early in the season, mm -hmm. early goals, early defending, number of missed chances. Would you say that sort of that game particularly sort of summed up you know, Stoke's season or is the best yet to come? Uh, well, I seem to recall that it was quite a good away performance. Uh, that was my recollection of it. Uh, you're right in saying we had, we had any number of chances on the break. I thought we broke exceptionally well in that game. Uh, great goal by by Boyan, and on the day we were the better team. I think with, with Southampton, they, they're a good team with good talent, and they will back their ability against our ability on the day. And, and I'm looking forward to the game. I think it'll be an open game, and it'll be two very good sides in the Premier League trying to win the game. And as a consequence, I think it'll be uh, hopefully uh, a good open game, which at times, certainly at home, that helps us. And another chance for a record to fall. I think it's like uh, nearly 50 years since Stoke did the double over. Southampton. Is it right? The likes of Harry Bowes and Martin Chivers putting in the goals. Right. Can we do it tomorrow. Yes, yeah, we we have that ability to do that. It uh, won't be easy, as I said at the moment. We we're not quite sure which way they will go in terms of personnel, but ability-wise, as I said earlier, we're, we're evenly matched. But on our day, we can beat anybody, and that includes Southampton. Their academy is strong. It's it's a strong club in its own right, and they they continue to to build on on the field as well. So I'm very impressed with the club in, in comparison to to the one where I knew when I, when I was playing there. Still playing at the Dell, one of the uh, more quaint, shall we say, grounds in the in the league at that time. So uh, to come from from that point when they were still at the Dell uh, to where they are now, then it's it's been a huge, huge job that's been undertaken, but uh, done correctly, in my Ryan's very close. Um, we're going to check on a, a number of players. Uh, a little bit of an issue with Eric Peters. A little bit of an issue with his calf, so we we're going to have to check on him. So that might shape my thinking in terms of whether or not Ryan plays from the start or is involved at all. He's only had a couple of training sessions, so we're conscious of that. But it may be that uh, needs must, and we need to get him out there. But I'm prepared to wait for the next 24 hours, see how everybody else is, and then uh, then I'll make a decision based on that knowledge.